Thank you, ladies. Set against St. Joe's. Second year of this home and home was a high score night's win a year ago. Second quarter, St. Joe's has a 12 nothing lead. Seneca's Gavin Tama looking downfield to Zay Poole. Dips it and brings it in for a touchdown. How about it? Seneca cuts into the lead. Knights still 12 to 7. Onto the third. Tama back to pass, but picked off by Lucas Salgado. He's making some things happen. Nice return there for St. Joe's. And on the ensuing drive, Braden Johnson. And he will find the end zone. 18 to 7 Knights. They'd miss the two point conversion, but they get the 24 to 7 win over Seneca. All right, welcome back to Friday Night It's making our way to Honey a Path, where 2-0 BHP welcomed 1-2 Woodruff. Claws out Wolverines and Bears. BHP's attack averaging 46 a game, and it's easy to see why when Marquise Henderson touches it. He is all caps explosive. Drag down inside the 10-yard line. And of course, he gets you all the way down there. You got to reward him. He finishes off the drive with a short score for the Bears. BHP up 7-0. Same score later in the quarter. Woodruff's TJ Morris rolling, finding Corey Scott as the Wolverine scratch back. PAT no good, so 7-6 BHP back with the ball. Marquise Henderson, you can get a juke. You can get a juke. You can get a juke. Absolutely unreal. 14 carries for 301 yards and five touchdowns. For number three, that kid is a stud. All BHP 49 to 15. Greenwood's off to a two and one start. Both wins at JW Bab going for another against North Augusta, leading 14 to seven. North Augusta is with the ball. Devin Robinson breaks a couple tackles and straight onto the horizon as the Yellow Jackets push their lead to 21 to seven. But Greenwood's Tristan Lewis screen game to Jaden Adams, and he is making a Mojo Dojo Casa house call. 80 yards for the Eagles score, but North Augusta wins in a big time shootout, 49 to 4. Chesney from Broome at home against R Central from just north of the state line. Early going, Chesney's KJ Proctor ripping it to Caleb Blanton. Toasted his covers. Eagles strike the scoreboard, scoreboard first. R Central, they got the ball now. Marcus McKinney. He's breaking it outside, bursting down the sideline, won't be denied, has a nice block, and he finished it himself, evens the game at seven. But Chesney, they're dialed in. Austin Bigford, big 33, rumbling right on in. Eagles are three and one, already more wins than they had all of last year, 41 to 13 over RS Central. A few scores for you, Clinton over Aiken, 63 to six. West Oak beating Ware Shoals, 29 to 20. The defending 1A champion Christchurch Cavaliers have won their last two, taking on Riverside, who's starting to build a winning program in recent seasons. Fun game that these two played last September. Cavaliers won that one 38-30 and a sizzling start to this one for Christchurch. Deshaun Reeder, he takes a pitch down the left side, finds a little daylight. See a 40 yard for the Northwestern commit. Cavs up 7-0. His peers, oh, they're all big fans. Thinking about hitting cookout after the game, and their man Deshaun Reeder delivers again, powers up the middle. It is 14-0 Christchurch, but Riverside gets rolling. Mikel Skinner from down and close into the end zone for the Warriors, and Riverside marches on back for a 48-28 win over Christchurch. Pendleton's been super impressive in starting 2-0, taking on the defending 3A upper state champ Powdersville. Now this is a fun back and forth early in this game. Luke Gray slanging it. Corey Jones coming up with the Pendleton score. 6 0 Bulldogs, but on the ensuing kickoff, you try to see this play right here by Powdersville's Elijah Huggins. Fields it, finds a crease, and he is gone. The special team score and the extra point puts the Patriots ahead 7 6. Powdersville goes on the road, hands Pendleton their first loss 56 4. Eyes on the sky, it tells no lies. Travelers rest getting Woodmont Wildcats with the 8-0 lead. TR trying to answer Colby Epps going deep, but it's Woodmont's Keyshun McCoy coming up with the INT. Woodmont marches down the field with the ball. Jordan Sink drops it into Drake Stewart. Just hold on, we're going home. Wildcats blank TR 22 to zip. One last look at scores for you tonight. While Hollow beating Southside 35 to 6. Louisville over Blacksburg 63 to zip. 
Low scoring game, Saluda beating Emerald 9 to 6, 96 over Mid Carolina, 21 to zip. That'll do it for us. Week three of Friday Night Hits is in the books for Chase and our entire crew. Thanks as always for joining us. We'll see you next week, same time, same place. Enjoy your weekend.